VeChain continues to hold above a significant key area of support on the daily time frame above the 0 0.02659 and this chart to me continues to remain bullish on the long term and on this video I will be discussing my long term price target areas basing my analysis on the ADO12 structures and the Fibonacci so make sure that you stick around till the end of the video and starting the video here on the daily chart by first zooming out and focusing on the loss that you made back in June 2023 you can easily see that you have been seeing a very nice bounce to the upside in a move that gave us a high in 2024 above the 0 0.0551 in a move that I'm terming as an to wave count one to the upside and since there are high chances that we now have a high in place in the formation of this wave one and whatever we are seeing at the moment is a bit of a pullback in the formation of these ADO wave count two, I need to give you minimum target areas for that pullback in the formation of that second wave using the Fibonacci, connecting the fibs from the lows that you made in 2023 in June to the all time to the highs that you made uh, this year in 2024 giving me a minimum pullback target area to the golden pocket between the FIB level 0 0.5 and the FIB level 0 0.618 which perfectly lies between the 0 0.03425 and the 0 0.02931 which is the area over here and I can mark it on the charts so this is my golden pocket a minimum target area for that second wave which is an area that we have seen a breakdown into and there are high chances that in the next coming days as long as we continue holding within this area we can easily see another turn around to the upside where we can easily see another bullish movement uh, breaking above significant highs and a break above the 0 0.05519 will be mega bullish for VeChain where we can start having our target areas to the upside in the formation of these ADO12 count 3 whose minimum target areas can be given using the Fibonacci the trend based Fibonacci connecting it from the lows that you made in June 2023 to the highs that you have made this year above the 0 0.05 to the lows that you have at the moment giving me a minimum target area for the third wave at the FIB level 1.618 and that perfectly lies above the 0 0.09661 as my next target area in the formation of that wave 3 and for this to play out VeChain needs to continue holding above significant key areas of support and the first key area of support is above the 0 0.02659 and if by any chance we lose this blue target area that I have marked on the charts maybe we also see a breakdown uh, movement to that key area of support and maybe at some point we lose it maybe with a retest then we can watch for a deeper pullback into the 7-8 Fibonacci which can be given uh, once again by connecting the fibs from the lows that you made last year to that high uh, that you made in 2024 and you can easily see that the last line of support on the Fibonacci is which is the FIB level 0 0.78 perfectly lies above the 0 0.02218 and as long as you continue holding above that expect higher prices in the formation of that wave 3 but if by any chance we lose the 7.8 then I will be watching for darker days on the VeChain chart where we can easily see a total retracement of this whole movement taking us back below the 0 0.01328 on the worst case scenario but I've given you my bullish scenarios that I'm expecting once the bull market is here. And I hope that video was of much help to you and I hope to catch you on the next one.